Hey squad, welcome back. Now today we're gonna to be looking at another great modulation plugin that's right here in Logic Pro X. And this plugin you will find in pretty much every door. And the plugin we're looking at today is the Tremolo plugin. Now the reason I'm looking at this is for a long time I wondered why Logic didn't have an auto panner which you would find in other doors. But the Tremolo plugin really is your auto panner and it's very powerful and very flexible. And I'm gonna show you how you can use it. Now, this particular plugin can be used on vocals. It can be used on musical instruments, sound effects, or drums and percussion. For my example today, I'm gonna to be using it on the choir flute track on this section of my song. Let me just play you back the section real quick. Okay, so that's the section that I'm gonna be messing with. So let me show you how you can load this up. So you click on the track that you want to apply auto panning to and you, in the effects section, you come to modulation, tremolo, stereo. And now let's open that up and factory default. Let's make sure we call that. And I'm gonna solo the part so you can hear what's actually happening on the track. And then we're gonna switch this on and I'll show you how these controls actually work. Okay, switching it on. Okay, so instantly you're hearing the movement of the sound panning from left to right. Now the speed at which the panning takes place is based on the rate value right here. So if I was to switch this, it started off at um, a quarter note. We're gonna switch to one bar and let's have a listen now. Okay, so it takes a full bar to complete a full cycle of the panning and you can adjust up to what 32 bars. That's very, very slow or really quick um, all the way up here to 20 Hertz. Now, obviously you're not gonna want it that quick. So you probably wanna come to something. Maybe you could work with something maybe. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, it really depends on the tempo of your track as well, because if this track was running at a faster tempo, then a quarter note rate is still gonna be pretty fast. So let's actually bring it down to uh, one bar. Okay, so that's the rate at which the movement or the pan from left and right is taking place. And you'll see over here as well, in the track meter, you'll see the actual uh, levels moving from left to right. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you is the smoothing. and the smoothing, if you look here, you can see I'm adjusting the smoothing right here. You can see that on in the window right there. Now, if I go all the way like this, the, the panning of the signal is not as gradual. So it will be an immediate jump from one channel to the next. Let me play back and you'll see what I'm talking about. So as you can hear, after two bars, you'll hear the signal jump from one channel to the next and then back, okay? There's no smooth, gradual movement. And look at the meters as well. You, let's have a look here at the meters. As you can see, it's jumping directly from one channel to the next. Okay, so that's your smoothing. And the other part that we need to look at is the depth. Like, so let's put the depth all the way back up, like a hundred percent, smoothings all the way like, like so. If we were to adjust the depth to say 50%, let's see what happens then. So that the depth control determines how much of the signal is pushed from left to right. We've only got 50% there. So 50% of the signal will, will continue to pass through both channels, but after every two bars, a portion of the signal will be pushed to one side or the other. Okay, so if we were to adjust the depth even more, let's go to about here. So this is going to cause a very slight adjustment from left to right.
So this is really handy. So if you don't want the whole signal moving from one side to the other, only a portion, just, just sweeping from one channel to the other channel, that's where you adjust the depth. And like I said, with the smoothing as well, this is how gradual the transition happens as the signal sweeps from one side to the other. Okay, so a really powerful tool, again, often overlooked, but can really add a nice new dimension to your mix and liven up maybe a part that's not really doing much. Okay, you can use this, like I said, on all sorts of parts, keyboard parts, on vocals, on rhythm sections, on effects. It adds that extra bit of movement in your song and adds a bit more interest and excitement. Okay, so hopefully that's made sense. Now remember, I've got a ton of other content on this channel, so make sure you check it out. Drop me a line in the comment section, like and subscribe to the channel if you're feeling what I'm doing, and check out my music on doosbeats.com as well as my other social media platforms. And remember to switch on your notification bell, so when my next video drops, you'll find out straight away. Until next time, I'm Dr. Deuce. Peace.